Dear devotees, Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano recently issued a rather controversial statement. Before examining his statement more thoroughly, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and activate notifications. This simple gesture is essential for us to support the channel. Thank you very much. In his message, the Cardinal invokes the intervention of the Swiss Guard to detain Pope Francis and Cardinal Victor Manuel Fernandez, nicknamed Tuso, requesting their expulsion from the Vatican. This statement follows the discovery of a work considered by many to be almost pornographic, attributed to Fernandez. According to Vigano, such material highlights a degree of corruption and a detachment from the Catholic faith, prompting him to call for drastic measures such as the arrest of Pope Francis and his closest collaborators at the hands of the Swiss Guard. He argues that the Swiss Guard should protect the See of Peter, not those who, in his opinion, are demolishing it. Vigano's words were expressed in decisive tones, typical of the Cardinal known for his often incisive and sometimes harsh declarations. Considered by some an extremist, by others an attention seeker, and by still others as a divine envoy, his current position approaches that of a potential excommunication. As already mentioned, Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano reacted to the discovery of the book considered erotic by Cardinal Tuccio Fernandez by asking for the arrest and removal from the Vatican of both the Cardinal and Pope Francis. Put me like the video to spread the news. Thank you very much. We now present the original text of Vigano's declaration published on Twitter. The blasphemous obscenities of Tucho's disgusting pamphlet reveal such a degree of perversion and alienation from the faith as to require the military expulsion of the Argentine and of his accomplices. The Swiss guards have sworn to defend the See of Peter, not those who are demolishing it. Therefore, be faithful to their oath and arrest these heretics. For his part, Cardinal Victor Manuel Fernandez has actually admitted to having written the controversial book in 1988, entitled The Passion, Mystical and Sensuality, which dealt with sexuality. However, he expressed remorse for the publication, stating that he ordered its withdrawal shortly after its release. Realizing that the content could be provocative and unintended, what do you think of this accusation? Write it in the comments to interact with the community of believers. Stress that it was a text written at a young age, which today would not be rewritten. Fernandez also mentioned that the book was intended as an exercise for young people to explore the spiritual meaning of their relationships. Consequently, he opposed the recent reprint of the pamphlet, claiming that it caused misunderstandings and manipulations. Furthermore, Cardinal Fernandez had written another book, Heal Me With Your Mouth. The Art of Kissing, published in 1995, which explored the significance of kisses in human relationships. This book, now out of print, has attracted criticism from some sectors of church conservatives who used its contents to criticize his appointment as head of the dicastery for the doctrine of the faith. Fernandez rejected these criticisms by emphasizing that the book was written in collaboration with a group of young people and that it was intended as a contribution to the general catechesis of adolescence. The Cardinal defended his work by stating that his books contain no heresies or errors and attributes the criticism to one of his detractors, who quotes sentences out of context to question his theology and his appointment in a key role in the Church. This situation has generated embarrassment in the Vatican and has highlighted a division within the Church between conservatives and progressives. Some conservative sectors have opposed the positions of Cardinal Fernandez and Pope Francis in particular regarding the doctrinal innovations perceived as excessively progressive. Among them, Cardinal Gerard Ludwig Müller, Fernandez's predecessor in the Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith, defined as blasphemous the innovation proposals such as the supplicant trust document recently published by the Dicastery, which opens up the possibility of blessing couples in irregular situations, such as homosexual ones. Müller maintains that this approach contradicts the Church's teachings based on sacred scripture. On the other hand, some bishops and sectors of the Church have shown a more open attitude by emphasizing the need for a pastoral approach that takes into account different cultural and local realities. The supplicant trust document was conceived as a proposal for simple pastoral blessings without liturgical form for couples in irregular situations, underlining that these are blessings without approval or justification of the situation of these people. These are theses generated by a pure sense of understanding and mercy Pope Francis has shown from the beginning indulgence towards sexual sins and prelates tormented by scandals. Already in 2013, on his return to Rome from the World Youth Day in Rio, he stated, If a person is gay and seeks God and with good will, 
who am I to judge him? The history of the Catholic Church has been marked by various schisms and doctrinal conflicts. A historical example is the Great Western Schism, which occurred between 1378 and 1417, when there were several popes at the same time, each supported by different factions within the Church. These events often involve disputes over issues of power, interpretations of doctrine, and liturgical practices. The current situation may reflect these historical tensions, where diversity of opinions and theological interpretations leads to divisions within the Church. Periods of crisis in the Church have often led to significant reforms. The Council of Trent, held in the 1500s and lasting 18 years, was convened in response to the Protestant Reformation and led to a significant renewal of Catholic doctrine and practice. Current situations such as the debate on sexuality and the role of women in the Church are already triggering a new wave of discussion and possible reforms in the vibrant heart of the Church, which has gone through centuries of history, turbulence and renewal. Archbishop Vigano, with a bold and unprecedented tone, raises the question of the Pope's arrest, shaking the very foundations of the Holy See. We find ourselves at a historical turning point, where disturbing and intriguing questions creep into the minds of believers and observers. Will we truly witness many precedents in the thousand-year history of the Church? Write it in the comments and interact with the community of faithful. The pages of history have been written with the ink of conflict and reconciliation, but rarely with such bold and rigid strokes. As the global Catholic community divides into conflicting opinions, we wonder whether there will be an irreparable fracture, or if this is the prelude to spiritual and institutional renewal. In a constantly changing world, the answers to these questions could redefine not only the Church, but also the way spirituality intertwines with contemporary challenges. The figure of the Pope is at the center of this storm of questions. Will he give in under the pressure, or will he lead the Church in the midst of this rough sea towards calmer waters? What is the ultimate destiny of the Pontiff and the Catholic Church in these tumultuous times? Perhaps only time will reveal the answers in the pages of history yet to be written.